Hi, my name is Glenn Hussman. I'm just making this video for the Free County Software users to show you guys how to lodge your activity statement using Free County Software. So I've just created a brand new business for this demonstration and um, under the reports and lodgements heading there is an option here for activity statement. Okay, so if I go into that, you can see there's no activity statements listed there yet and, um, and yeah, so we'll Okay, down the bottom here is this link to says that says show details. So I'll just click that, um, and it just shows you what ABN uh, branch and dates you're using. This is the 2006 financial year, and I'm connecting to the ATO test system, and that's the dates that are set up for that. Um, these dates come from the businesses. Um, financial year start and end date that you've set up on the My Business Details page. Okay, so going back to, oh sorry, wrong one, going back to the activity statement page, um, you select your machine credential, so what I'm using is a, uh, here is a locally stored file, there is an option when you set up your business to use a hosted um, business and so the data will be hosted with us. In that case it uses, it doesn't use a machine credential to lodge, it uses a software subscription ID um, and um, so that is a difference, that's what the, the way the ATO set it up, when you're using a locally stored file it uses a machine credential, when you're using a host, hosted um, data then it uses a software subscription ID. So in this case I'm using a locally stored file so I'll select my machine credential and enter my machine credential password. And then you click this button, download and pre-fill all. So in the background it goes and contacts the ATO and retrieves the activity statements. It also does a thing called pre-filling them, uh, which you don't really need to worry about um, and it gets your buses. So um, the next thing we're going to do is fill this in. Um, so it's, re it's retrieved two buses. The one we're interested in is the this July one. Um, it, it does, it's connecting to the ATO test system and they've incorrectly returned this bus here as well which is out of the date range we set, but um, anyway, it's just a test system. Um, so anyway, let's go and have a look at this bus. So if we double click on it, we go to the activity statements transactions page, and then um, there's no transactions there yet, um, but we can have a quick look at the bus. If we go to the lodge page, um, uh, we can see the bus that it's retrieved from the ATO. This bus has a GST obligation and a pay-as-you-go withholding obligation. Um, and there are some header fields as well. Um, okay, um, I don't want to cover too much in each of these videos. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to um, enter some transactions and get them to appear on the bass and logic.